Hello medical professionals, this is Alex from Swoosh English. I've got a video today all about OET writing and why paraphrasing from the case notes is so, so important. So let's address that question. Let's address why it's important. Well, think about your, you've got your five minutes reading time and you've got 40 minutes for writing. And when you're going through in your reading time and you're you're selecting the relevant case notes to use. When it does come to your writing time, a lot of students who get C's and C pluses, which is basically the grade that you don't want to get because you want to get B's or A's, and a lot of our students here at Swoosh English get those kinds of scores. When you're, when you're going through those case notes and you're selecting the relevant case notes for your letter, you need to put those case notes into your own words, which in the English language world is called paraphrasing. You cannot, you should not be repeating chunks of language that you see in the case notes into your letter. They are notes at the end of the day. You need to put this into proper coherent sentences. And as, like I said, I see a lot of these C and C plus students who are just taking chunks of language and pot kind of just inserting it into their letter. Remember, it's a, not a medical examination, it's an English examination. So the examiner, like I said uh, in many previous videos, is not, an, uh, is not a medical professional, they are an English teacher, so they're, they're assessing your English language skills. So this is where you have your, this is where you really need to show your ability to use synonyms. So synonyms are different words which mean the same thing. So you could, for example, I don't know, you, you if you think about uh, some words from the case notes, something like diagnose, okay? If you, or you could say or diagnosis, you don't want to use that exact same word in the letter, okay? You might want to say the, um, I'm trying to think of a, a formal word to use instead of instead of diagnose, but you could say, for example, examine. Okay, you you might say the 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 cardiologist examined the the patient and found that they have uh, asthma. Okay, something like that instead of diagnosed, or you could say the the cardiologist identified the the symptoms that the patient had. This, this is showing your ability to use different kinds of words, different kinds of language, instead of using the exact same word you used in the case notes, which is diagnosis or diagnose. So really, really important to paraphrase. I can't stress how important it is to not repeat language that you've seen in the case notes into your letter. Of course, there's certain words, there's certain medical words, you know, for example, uh, I like, you know, I always like to use the, the example of asthma. You know, just you can use the same word in there, but if there's other kinds of, you know, the, of course, this is the condition. But if you want to use different words, like I said before, diagnose, examine, identify the cause of, you know, all of these kinds of things shows you can vary your language and shows that you're flexible with your language as well. And that goes uh, that also goes hand in hand with not memorizing chunks of language as well or hoping that the the, the case notes or the, the task will be on a, on a particular kind of condition. You don't know what the condition will be. You don't know what kind of letter you're going to have, but be prepared. Be prepared in your preparation and you will get your A or B in the examination. So Hopefully this video was helpful to you today. Paraphrasing is key. Make sure you do that in your preparation and I'm confident of your success. If you want to learn more about OET writing, paraphrasing and all of the other three areas of speaking, reading and listening as well, make sure you go to swooshenglish.com. We've got a free OET video course there for you that you can download immediately. So I look forward to seeing you in the next video. Make sure you share this video with friends, colleagues, and any family members who are preparing for OET so we can spread the message of good quality practice. Thank you very much.